I just uh, think that I'm going to bring us back here in three minutes. Um, looking at the agenda and the time, I mean, it would be delightful if we could really try to move through a lot of these items, of course. And um, the public works budget, some of these, a lot of these line items are, are, are one-liners, okay? So if we can get through the public works, um, and I think we're on capital, aren't we? And we're going to try to get through it in a more efficient way then a lot of these next bunch of them are one-liners um at least down to um at least down to 15 which again isn't that complicated of a budget and then we have 16 and um, so anyway I, we got a good shot here of um of moving some mountains so with that i'll be quiet and uh, i'll turn it over to um to jan and i'll let jan reorient us on where we were last time we we're on capital items if i recall that we kind of slowed us down a little bit because we were we were in a technique where we were going one at a time, and I'd like to try to I'd like to try to do a little better as we were doing earlier tonight by grouping things a little more before we go around the table. Um, so we're on capital items, were we not, Jan? I believe so. And that were we looking at the document, which was this one dated um, January fourteenth, nineteen. Correct. Although some of these particular items, capital improvement items, I don't think are in that budget document because okay. should I be looking I in the big binder then or where should I be looking? Oh yeah. Right. You, you do have behind or at least I have them in my binder behind the regular budget document you have the capital budget document. Yes. We do as well. We went through this last time. Mm -hmm. So that would be non recurring capital, that one? Mm -hmm. Yep, it's under non-recurring yep. capital Got tab. It. Okay, thank you. All right, so where I have a line on my page here, um, right above town buildings. Is that where we left off? Yes. Is that what that That's means? Correct. Okay, thank you for reorienting me. Okay, so let's start. I guess right here at town buildings, um, and again, I want to try to try to before we go around the table. I'd like to try to um, maybe we'll try to get through the section and then we'll try to go around collectively um, just for efficiency because last week we really were dogging it in that regard the technique was was good but we were just being too um, too um, too picky -un. okay so Jan, I'll let you maybe talk through um, perhaps would you like maybe talk through what you see as for these items in this bunch um, for F for 1920 and maybe you could talk through that and um, yeah, I don't know that we have to go line by line unless you absolutely want me to. Okay. Um, I, I think I want to point out that under DPW main building rehab or replacement, you obviously have a very small amount in the first year. You're not going to do any rehab or replacement with that. So that is meant to uh, at least do an, in an initial analysis of the current building and to what extent... Um, it makes sense to try and save that and then upgrade it and what have you. And if the findings are from an initial engineering or whatever it may be analysis that it's worth it, then we're going to need to, you know, allocate more money to upgrade that building. You really want to look at that line item sort of in tandem with um, the next one, which is the public safety facility study plan. Um, and there's another one looking at fire and rescue stations upgrade and renovations where again it's a rather small initial amount there's several locations here where money is that we recommend putting money aside to do these um, evaluations and engineering analyses just basically feasibility studies with some engineering analysis and maybe preliminary design so those are relatively small amounts. They're very difficult to estimate. Uh, we would need to have, you know, either, uh, I mean, to some extent, Rick can help certainly with his own building. He may have, you know, an idea, but even there, you might want to have a structural engineer helping with the analysis of the building. So we need to bring some experts in to help us actually do the initial analysis and come up with better cost estimates for future years. That's basically the principle behind here. 
Um, there are the larger questions about what are we going to do about the police station, about the DPW facility, and about the fire stations. They all have similar questions as to, um, you know, how, how are they currently functioning? Different people have different opinions about that. Um, the police station, you will hear from the chief what the shortcomings are there and you know to what extent we can expect that to be an adequate facility for how many years um, the rescue station I happen to know that the one that I think you first visited uh, the headquarters um, for example doesn't have handicapped accessible uh, capacity things like that um, so there it does make sense to the extent we have the resources to pay for it is to take a good look at what is the condition of these buildings what is lacking and what are the different options that we have to either address them one by one by one or maybe in some combination and that's basically the, the objective with uh, beginning to estimate what kind of money we may need and in the first instance focusing primarily on doing the initial analyses thank you Does anybody, um, we'll start on which side here, see if there's any questions on any of these items. So um, we, we ended with Joe. So Joe, we'll start here. We're going to go look at from town buildings down to the bottom of that page um, um, on those items. Do you have any questions on those? No. Okay. Jay? So when we do the, the public safety facilities study plan, <coughs> I think there's a thing called OIS that the insurance companies use to determine how your fire department is structured and if it meets certain criteria. Is it going to dovetail with that? Yeah, I'm personally not aware of that, but I'm, I'm glad you mentioned it. That does make a lot of sense is if we're going to plan for facilities for our public safety agencies, we might as well look at where are we going. I, I don't know if this is what you mean, but our functionality, our, dis, our structure, and do we need to reprogram more or less the space that we use? Is that sort yeah, of what you're was Well, one of the th well, they you know they give you they give a town grades. You know how many firefighters do you have? How long does it take to get to a fire? Where are your fire hiding? You know, yeah, all that kind yeah. of stuff. And one study that was done, they want us to move fire stations. Probably not going to happen. But you know these these things all have to be considered. It's called OIS? I think it's OIS. Okay. I'll have to Fire check. Fire Chief's got a... Yeah, I'm sure he, he does. Three or four books of it. Right. You know, and, and we're not saying that we know for sure that we're going to have to move stations or whatever, but I think especially since we do need between DPW police and fire stations, we know we're going to have to do something over the next five years. And so to get a better idea of... Where are the priorities? What is most urgent? To what extent are you better off trying to do it uh, in combination uh, rather than very piecemeal? I think it's good to do this kind of analysis. And it's also at the request of uh, the department heads. So. Tom? Yeah. Um. So you're, the current year, like you said, you're, you're going to have some studies done, some pretty... Um, detailed and engineering based studies done so that we know what we want correct for mm -hmm. this year sure but the uh, what, what about the the following year like the the quarter of a million dollar line on uh, DPW is that more study or no that would actually be if, if the work. conclusion is that right. um, we either do a major upgrade or we're gonna have to build the new DPW building um, you're going to need for a major upgrade probably at least that amount in that next year uh, for a replacement, um, assuming that you could actually phase it. Uh, you might need those two amounts. And again, this is planning out in the future. This is not saying we're convinced that right. you can do it for this money, that it's enough. Um, we don't know. We just want to put it on the radar that right. between these buildings, you're going to probably look at some you know, significant capital expenditures. So uh, for the town hall, the out years are, are only $10,000 every other year. Is that also for anticipated 
repairs or yeah and those are actually i think that's probably a very conservative estimate this is just sort of pay as you go minor repairs um there are some questions as to whether you know you have adequate accommodations here but we didn't want to you know get into that at this point i think we need to have a more also internal discussion of you know are we using the space the most effective way um but these would deal with some of the items that we know um, we run into from time to time. Okay, that's, those are my questions. Thank you. Um, so yeah, you're, you're talking about this, like this building and how you're using it, and is it the best way? Is there anyone who could do maybe a little bit of a not not expensive study? I mean, but is to just come in and say, give you ideas on the use of the rooms in mm -hmm. certain ways, maybe that type of thing. I, I, and I'm thinking where I, where I, when I work, they come in and they do ergonomic studies, you know, mm -hmm. but it's a little different. This would be room use sort of study, building use in an efficient way, you know, where the copiers are and I don't know, just what, what room, I don't know. I'm just, just happen to think of maybe something like that to um, make this use more efficient here in this building, like the town hall, for I, example. I, I would um, love to have it done by an independent professional mm -hmm. outfit. Right now, we have competing visions <laughs> or you know preferences as to well, I want my space, I like it, and I'm not going to give it up or something like that. Yeah. And what we really need is okay. This is the building. You now we all love the building. We like to keep using it. Uh, what is the best way to use it? And if there are you know affordable ways to make it a little bit more efficient use that you can get more out of it then that might be the way to do it and having an independent professional do it is more convincing than if i do it or one of the department heads so i would right. agree with so, that. so people have certain favorite areas that they're but it costs in. money too not necessarily no, no, no. a whole lot but yeah and the other side of the coin is it seems to be working pretty well right now too so um that's one well, thing well it's, it's i'll give you one example mm -hmm. um I think, and if I had more time, I would have tried to get this accomplished. We should have an internship program where you bring in interns from, for example, Roger Williams University or URI, and you can get graduate students sometimes, and all you do is pay, you know, at most a stipend. We have no room for them. There's no workstation. We, well, I have thought about reconfiguring some of the, uh, the planning and building and zoning offices, and we're not really, that's not an efficient use of the space currently, but it would take money to reconfigure it. Or when you start thinking about it, you really want to look at, well, is how do we overall use the space? Getting back well, to your point. Well, wait a minute, what was, yeah, thank you. What was the purpose, how does that internship work again? You're saying it, you bringing them in for what purpose? So for they example, help us or they to, learn to things? To help with the, certain okay. projects. And um, they learn at the same time, okay. For, the, for example, just earlier today we were talking about, um, I was talking with some of the boards and commissions about the need to develop additional web pages so that for businesses you have sort of the information that you know businesses really could use when they are initially interested in coming to town. They want to know what does the town have to offer, what kind of programs are there, what are the steps that we have to go through, all of that. Uh, visitors, you know, to the extent people are interested in getting more visitation in Tivit, and it would be nice to advertise sort of the things that are attractive things to do in town. Uh, historic can be sort of on the, on the edge of tourism or visitation as well, but also sort of highlighting the assets that we have in town. That work, we don't really, uh, we have people who could do it, but except for they don't have the time because uh, they have other jobs here. Um, but you could get students who can do a fantastic job on it. And sometimes how you get the faculty payment, support how with the, it. How would the finances work with an intern coming in? Like, do, would you, how do they, do, do, do they, anybody get paid or pay in that relationship? Well, the, there are programs where, first of all, they get academic credit for doing an internship. So that means that they don't get paid as much because they get credit instead, uh, depending usually on the level of, um, education you may have to come up with a stipend which can be like you know fifteen hundred two thousand dollars for a semester or something like that which is peanuts compared to what you otherwise would do and if you have some quality control over this and you work with the right faculty at these institutions you can get good people you know the 
possible downside is that you have to spend a lot of time on supervision and training and what have you. Um, but it's sort of an art to try and find the sweet spot there and, and work with the right faculty. Um, but again, that's, you know, to set up the program, to pursue that, um, that takes time. I keep hoping that I'll find the time to do that because I do have a network that I can access. But um, having that resource would be great. But then we would need to have a place to put them, you know, and have a computer terminal to, you know, to the extent we can, like a shared room where people can just access the same computer at different times of the week. That's what I'm thinking about. That's just one example of we don't have the room for that right now. Okay. Um, just making sure that was all my questions. Um, right, on the DPW building, uh, m my understanding was it was just the back wall that was the main problem. So um, I just want to make sure that you're careful in, like, saying I need a brand new building, whole building. I think that, that you know, if you can do it with a lot of what's there, I saw a lot that's perfectly functional, you know, so I just want to be sure that, that we get the facts, um, you know, of which wall is, what the condition is, which wall mm -hmm. in, and some details on that um, for future reference. Thank that's, you very That's much. the purpose of that initial study, that you have someone assessing, you know, is, is the rust as bad as it looks, or is it just superficial, and you still have a frame that you can rely on? Right, but I mean, I really think that, that Rick seems like he's really capable of, of making those um, those assessments. I mean, he's the, just from what he's done on other other things. I just I just want to make sure that we're not spending on studies that we don't need. That's my only concern. Mm -hmm. So yeah, thank you. And, and thank you for the point, and and thank you for the nice compliment. <laughs> uh, but is different levels of investigation and different levels of estimating, and the the size of the building and the fact that there's concrete floor and it's not in terrific shape, the fact that it's really not energy efficient, uh, the fact that the layout is not terrific, we make do, uh, but it, it involves something more than the amount of time that I could give something uh, like that. Okay, thank you. Um, I just have a couple quick questions for Jan. So the first, in the town building section, the f first item, town hall repairs renovations, that is not a plan. And the last item, senior center renovation is not a plan. Correct. And the other one, police station upgrade is, has zero in it, so it's not funded. So the other three are the plans? That, yeah, that's actually because there's overlap with that public safety facility study. Okay, studies. so the other three are the, are the other ones are the plans, right? The, all the studies. other... The all the ones in the middle are the plans, our plans. Okay, I just want, so it's like 100,000. Pretty much, you know. 100,000 exactly. Although it would give us, you know, if, for example, we had an issue at the fire station where we have a serious issue with, say, an access or um, at the, the entrance or whatever, you know, there would be money in the account to deal with something that, that happens. And to some extent, I know that the acting chief is somewhat concerned with you know, some of the conditions. Um, so there would be some flexibility to use that if that becomes more of a priority than, you know, getting the planning done. But the the main primary goal for allocating these amounts is to get those engineering studies and analyses done. Okay, I'm done. Thank you. you any questions? No, I think it's very well planned out and um, very well explained. Thank you. Um, Brandon? No, I'll well set. Thank you. Okay, so. Sure. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Let me move on. Just sure. Probably Chief Lamb, so I don't know how many years ago that was, actually did a study on the uh, complex. We were talking about it would be combination police fire. We had talked mm -hmm. about this. We studied it, we looked at it, we looked to see how much federal state money we can get. A lot of that work was done already. And it just came down to the town wasn't going to float to bond to do it anyway. We decided to keep the buildings we have, take care of them, which we really haven't done that great of a job taking care of them. But uh, I just want to say, you know, I, I'm usually in favor of, you know, studying things before we spend money. In this case, I'm really not even in favor of spending money to study something that financially the town's not going to, uh, you know, we're not going to build a 
take another bond out for sixty million dollars to build this big facility at public, you know, by the public works garage that can bring the North End Fire Department and the police and everybody under one. It's not going to happen. I mean, we got to absorb the school budget this year, the school bond this year. So it might. We have a casino. Can I ask when that? How long ago was that? Yeah. When was Chief Lamb? That was two thousand, right? Two thousand five, and that it. A long time ago. He's he's on his well, he's on his like his third department since he left us. I'm just saying though that we did you know we spent the time we even had like Rod Williams students do architectural drawings and stuff like that of what the facility would look like, and it was great you know. But when it came down to it, we looked at the price. You know, I don't know. I mean, I'm, I'm a, I want to be frugal in this budget. And it, we, you know, this seems like something that uh, should be. We have a lot of great volunteers in this town, and that's how we did it last time. A lot of these students, we should be looking to the boards and the volunteers to help out okay. first before we try to pay somebody to do it. Let's see if we can get some, some of our great volunteers in this town to do this work. Yeah, that's my great. only point. Okay. If I may address that. The, at this stage, 20 years ago, the, the study was valuable back then, Joe. Yeah. But regulations, requirements have far outpaced uh, everything mm -hmm. else. So you need somebody to no. study this that knows the requirements. There's requirements for how much space you have to have for detainees in police stations. That, that's not a stagnant thing. 20 years ago, that rule may not even have been there. You you can't go by a, a study that long ago. Well, Is my point wasn't that we can't go by or can't go by the study. My point was the town is not going to float a big bond to build it. So it's great to propose it, but it's I don't see this town needing it or even wanting to pay for it. We have a good we have currently we, everything we have works, and we've been trying our best over the last decade to put money into these buildings to keep them. Like for instance, Public Works, I walked around that building. It's a metal building, it looks like every other industrial building in the area. Is there some rust at the bottom? Yeah, but I've been on jobs where we fixed the rust using rubber roofing. And then we painted the back of the buildings with that rubber paint that you see the guy floats the boat out and he cuts the bottom out or whatever. It's urethane paint and it protects the metal. So you know that's all of, all of those little rust holes and things in the building. That doesn't mean you tear the whole building down. It means the maintenance guy goes over there, spends a couple of days, grinds it down. Pat, you can patch it with bondo and spray it with undercoat. It's metal. There's a hundred ways to fix that, but we don't do it. We let it keep rotting and rotting and rotting. So if he said he wanted to hire another maintenance guy to start doing this work, I'd be all for that. But doing a study. No, let's hire somebody to fix the stuff. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you. I, I, I just, my, my comment was just that I added it up. There was 100,000 in studies. That's why I wanted to add that up. Thanks, Joe. Um, I, I, I'd like to move on. Um, I, this could easily digress for 30 minutes. Um, I, I'd really like to try to keep moving on. Um, if that's okay, I'd like to do that. So, we have we gone through the actual public works budget? I don't think we have. I think this capital stuff is just, uh, you know, okay. So why don't we do that? Um, yeah, could you get us to the capital, the public works budget, please? Thank you. In here, it will be in here somewhere. The traditional budget document. Page nine. Nine. Thank you. Um, the related items are on the next page as well. So. Um, and I think here, I don't know, but I, I would hope we have time to look at some, not only the budget spreadsheet itself, but some of the backup uh, documentation. This could have easily, and it was actually at one point, more than 50 pages of backup, which is a little difficult to find. So I asked um, Rick to simplify it a little bit. And for example, where we have items that uh, either are low funding or just a sort of general assumption about increasing costs from year to year uh, to bundle those. Um, so the backup is not necessarily um, one sheet for every line item, but 
on one sheet you have a whole bunch of light, I light items that um, have something in common, yeah. essentially. And as Jan mentioned, this went through quite a few reiterations to try to make it so it was concise and clear. Yeah. organized by sort of the you want to call them little chapters on the public works salaries is one then operating expenses start with last time. I think we're over here with Jennifer this time if uh, there's any questions on the on the um, items which would start with line item. Um, sorry I'm trying to get there here. Let, let me point one thing out about okay, salaries sure. that you already I think know but uh, once again we are not uh, including an increase in the uh, union personnel right. here. Um, that contract is going to be negotiated this year. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so the salaries <coughs> I note the overtimes level <laughs> is looking straight across. Yep, and most of these numbers are pretty darn close to level, it looks like, right? On overtime, one other thing that Rick had done was shift some of the overtime costs to uh, the category for landfill operations because over the past several many years, we have put all overtime under the regular operations, but you now in fact, some of that overtime really belongs on the landfill. So you'll see a little, you see, see an overtime item there. Um, I'm going to, I'm going to start with Jennifer and we're going to, why don't we do salaries and operating expenses and it's my, my document page, page nine. I'm looking at the January four right now because, um, can you come back to me? Okay. Brendan? Yeah, I, I know it was mentioned in the backup, but just kind of eyeballing on our operating expenses, there are a couple of areas that had significant increases. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So the tree removal, yeah. and I guess I'd preface uh, sort of the question is, uh, we've got a lot of dead trees. Is there a priority list? Do we know? Is this something we contract out as basically it... Um, it's a round number. Is it a real number? Do we know what we would do, how we would do? So um, a $10,000 increase. Similarly, looking at the repairs and tires, um, a big uh, increase um, in there. And then, so when I'll hit, hit those, and I have um, one more in terms of uh, thinking about the, the IT and computer software. Okay. Uh, thank you, Brandon. The, on the trees, uh, in fact, uh, National Grid held a seminar for people. Uh, the South County has been hit hard. Tiverton, Little Compton along the Westport border has also. Uh, so we're not alone in thinking there's a, a lot more trees than there used to be that need to be trimmed. We're going at the rate that we have now. We're going to run through the budget, which is currently $5,000. And we figure, and I don't have the numbers right in front of me, I just did the backup uh, quite a while ago, but we had something like a 20-day backlog of trees this year, and it's uh, 75 so it's about $600 a day. So, yes, we are not uh, equipped 
to do the trimming uh, of the trees that are anywhere near the power lines, and that includes uh, Cat V and telephone. So we have to sub that out. Uh, we assist them. That's how come we get such a good price of only $600 a day. Uh, but that that's this year, and we certainly expect there to be more uh, in the future years. Between the gypsy moths, the emerald ash borer, the periodic droughts, and then uh, too much <laughs> rain. Uh, for instance, National Grid mentioned that uh, Ash trees that have not been treated in New England will be non-existent in 10 years. That's what DEM uh, figures. Uh, there's something, and I forget if it was 235 or 325,000 acres that have been hit by deforestation. Then uh, National Grid warns they've uh, been whacked on a couple of their vehicles, and they do this for a living, uh, that trees will start falling. This is not a sky is falling uh, talk. This is just what National Grid has said. And they didn't present it as a sky is falling talk. But they said reality is even in the summer months, trees, uh, tree branches, tree limbs are going to start to fall because there's a major uh, infestation problem that's been going on. And ash particularly because it doesn't have, uh, it's much more brittle than like oak that was hit a few years ago. It's not a fascinating topic, but the need for it is great, and the 5,000 is nowhere near enough. Uh, and the other item. So Rick, can I just add uh, sure. that? So, and this is um, in essence reactive. So the request for $15,000 to say, we know it's coming, the tree's coming <coughs> down, we go out, as opposed to thinking uh, proactive, this is not. Yeah, yes, exactly. A little there bit of both. of both. We we have to do some trees, but trees that are, are dead, but not quite in danger of falling, we would like to get ahead and trim those. But in trees that we handle, we do a lot of trimming ourselves. It's not reflected in this budget. We This is just the budget near power lines, uh, telephone poles, etc. And then the, the other the question was on repairs. The repairs, yes. Uh, that is actually a little uh, conservative. Uh, we have been playing catch up on repairs for quite a while. We're presently, in fact, we brought this to the town council's uh, attention the last meeting, but we don't have any funds with which actually to transfer any monies. But we're outpacing our repairs uh, and as I mentioned that's because we're doing catch-up and the projections again due to the age of the equipment uh, and the fact that snow plowing for instance is a rugged business uh, that is going to continue not at the same clip but at a much larger clip than was uh, budgeted for this year that's why there's a, an increase. And that's simply based on historical data. And I watch the mechanics. They're, they are not buying parts that are not necessary. These are replacement parts, spare parts. Uh, so this is not a, uh, uh, it's not a guess. It's based on what we have been spending. And then the last question that I had was, and it, it's perhaps part of the broader is, so I understand that what's been presented for a lot of the departments in terms of software slash IT is that when they have a specific piece of software that they need, whether it's the assessor's office, the collector's office, or something, they have to pay for it. But there's a broader plan and a request, a capital plan, to upgrade equipment, move to the um, Microsoft 365. Mm -hmm. So a question would be is there's a request here and the operating expenses for 5,000 um, for IT computer so, and uh, what's that? Is that something proprietary that, that DPW <coughs> needs to, to run itself yeah. or? Yeah, Th thank you, Brendan. Uh, and Jan also has uh, some IT in the overall budget. But to run the scanner, 
to run the to get the updates to run the software that allows you to diagnose uh, the all the data that's coming in that's and you you can't buy that you have to rent it or lease it that's a, a monthly payment you can pay it the whole year up front and we try to do that to uh, save some money uh, but that's an ongoing bill and that's what that reflects okay so this is uh, specific to mm -hmm. dpw software hardware for what kind of scanning is it uh, Rick? for equipment and trucks uh yes Got it. Okay, great. police fire Yes. Onboard diagnostics. Yes. These okay. days, if you don't have that, right, you can't you're just repair really anything. just flying blind, and right. you know, and that's why a lot of things didn't get fixed. Oh, now we actually yeah. have the oh, equipment okay. that figures out what is actually wrong and how can it be fixed. Interesting. And I, I, I do want to say that it's sort of in tandem with uh, the capital strategy as well. That over time, we hope to bring up, you know, the condition of the vehicles that we have, so that you know, we do away with the ancient stuff that. You know, the, the duct tape doesn't really work anymore. So. <laughs> but th those were my questions on them. Thank you, Brian. So that has nothing to do with that computer that you talked about for police and fire. <coughs> this is totally separate. Correct. This is just soft. Yes. Okay. Um, and I see that um, the longevity has gone down. That's the re retirement of longer yeah. term. Right. Thank you, Deb. But that's uh, simply a reflection of... Uh, different people retiring and the uh, who's still uh, who it applies to and whether it's in landfill or what we consider the road crew even though they're the it's, same it's people. It's all in here. Okay. So I see is this a new line item the line painting? Because I see this is the, the first year. The, the line painting yes. It, I think it was my understanding is it was in it's sometimes in the past, uh, but I put it back in because, uh, for instance, even right out here at Town Hall, it would be nice to have parking spaces lined out. Uh, there's occasion on town roads, uh, state roads, of course, too, but we don't have to do that. On town roads, it would be nice to have some stop bars uh, in some locations and some other striping, uh, handicapped uh, striping in certain areas. Okay, so... Basically, we were paying for that out of somewhere else. Uh, yeah, we did very little of it. <laughs> oh, we just didn't do <laughs> it. Is, <laughs> yes. We just didn't. Okay. Um, and my other question was about the, the software, so all set. Thank you. Uh, a couple questions. Um, so the salary lines, um, this is specific to um, to what the salaries are used for. Like, ha have have the personnel from DPW like have they been helping out down at the beach project down here at all? Yeah, yeah. Just, uh, what's that stone 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 uh, bridge? Yes, Grinnell's and yeah. Stone Bridge. Yes, they have. Okay, and, so and part of that, Jeff, is but the in kind grant allocations. When so when you matching grant can be done in kind. Okay, but it's it's in but it's not in kind in that. We're, we're paying them, right? I mean, it's, it's in kind for the so paperwork of the state or whoever gives the grant. You apply for a grant, and as part of the arrangement, you match what you get from the granting agency. Right. Our match can either be cash or time expended by our personnel. So our personnel cost becomes leverage. This is was leverage for the grant that we're getting which is why it's important to keep track of how many hours and who's working on what. Okay. But it enables us basically to get those grants. Okay, so I was just curious, I'm just curious in this whole, in the macro sense. So how, 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 how much is the, um, like how much, I guess, in our in-kind, I, I, I've never seen the grant, how much in-kind from this department, like, do we have to give them, like, in a year, or how, in the life of the project, or... Like, is it $100,000 of any kind? Or I'm just trying to understand, like... I would have to go back. I mean, we're at the tail end. Yeah. You know, basically, both projects are pretty much done. And so when the grants were applied for, or the monies were applied for, 
um, those analyses were done. How can we come up with the match? How much of that will be, you know, from which department contributing labor or whatever it may be? Uh, I don't. I don't have that as part of this. Well, I understand. I'm. I'm. So I, I, yeah, it's just kind of trying to understand. And I do know that. Um, I think Bill Anderson, you know, was a little worried about how much demand there would be on the DPW personnel, you know, to get these projects done, and that you know he had many other things that the same people had to do. Right. So there was that concern. It ultimately, I think, has worked out. Uh, just fine, but it was adjusted, if I'm not mistaken, that you know, so that it was within reason, and DPW could still do its other work. Yeah. Well, I guess that's you know, if it, if it, yeah, I'm just kind of getting at that a little bit in the macro sense. It's just you know, I mean, if DPW had 40% surge capacity to be down there over the year, then that that's that's just odd to me, and I just don't know the numbers though. So. Um, um, well, I think it would probably be in the in the thing. I'll I'll email Jan if I if I if I um, have the the ambition to. Um, and my other question was, uh, where is it down here? There was a new fee. Oh, that was the no. Where is it? Not, where, no, but it was a twelve thousand dollar item. It wasn't new. Yeah, what is the engineering services for? Did I maybe it was already spoken about, but I didn't hear it. If it was new, twelve thousand. Is that? Engineering, professional engineering services. That's not the claim for closure, obviously. So, what would that be? Uh, bottom of page nine, at least in the docket budget, I'm in. It's right below, like stormwater, um, guardrail. Oh, maybe it's gone. I'm looking at one date of July, 4th, January fourth. So maybe it's gone. And it seems like the one Ruth has dated the 14th, and the one th the final budget's not there. So I'm probably looking at an older, bu an older budget because it may. I don't know what it was. I know there is another 12,000 for professional services uh, that I propose at the planning board, and what we were talking about is consulting engineering. Okay, so maybe okay, maybe that, maybe it lives over there or something mm -hmm. that came out of this one because it's not in the most recent one. Okay, um, those are my questions. I keep this moving. Go ahead. Uh, we're going this way. So Ruth. Okay. Paul? Yeah, I just um, I, I want to hear the uh, paving drainage account story again. I, I think you might have. The, the paving drainage? Yeah. yeah. The, we came up with, not myself, this was done previously, Tom, that they said here is the uh, roads that should be done in the next, I believe it was five years. And so we did our analysis based on that. Uh, it won't go down, it would go up. And we are in the process of trying to uh, check the roads again and remeasure and see if the prices have changed drastically. Uh, but there's, there's more to be done than what's allocated here simply because there's only so much <coughs> one. And the reason that it became a blank is that it was shifted to the capital budget. Okay. And the backup is in that part of the pack up. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Jay? All right, so your IT computer software hardware, the new item, is to get you guys the scanner. No, no, we have the scanner. It's the, it's the fee. Oh, the software. The, well, the, the updates. Okay. The, and the software to run it and the software to, die, to use to be able to diagnose and read them and tell you what it is you're supposed to do. Right. You, you also have some other software in the office that you need for management and timekeeping. And yes. Well, it's all on the path to predictive maintenance. It's all on the path to predictive maintenance. Most of it. But all there's right. some management software. Well, I understand that, but I'm a big fan of what we used to call predictive maintenance. <laughs> Okay. And that's where you do scans, you do oil analysis, mm. and you have engine meters that record time. So do we have those? Don't Usually on ideas. diesels. <laughs> well, I certainly wouldn't mind having more of that. What we've done right now is more the entry level, and that is to uh, be able to diagnose, be able to then read what it is you're supposed to be doing and 
uh, track costs. That was something that we thought was a very important item. So there is a uh, cost associated with that software, which would be more than just the basic. Well, it's very important for me to track the costs. Can you track trends? By, by looking at the piece of equipment, if you, you look at it and it can tell you when it was done, and you can see by looking at last year's, okay, it cost. So you can track trends in that way. Just cost, though. Yes, just cost. What else would you be interested in? Well, for instance, Joe's brought it up before. That's what oil analysis does. You change the oil in a new car, the manufacturer says in 6,000 miles you're supposed to do it again. So you analyze the oil, you do it again, it gives you a readout. Yes. And you just keep on doing that. And after a while, you begin to notice, well, you know, the engine's fine, everything's good, you know. Analysis tells me that uh, the predictions are on, are on track, nothing's breaking. But then you get spikes. So that gives you a clue, gee, something bad's happening. No, and that, that would be nice, Jay, but we, but we don't have that software, but we... Well, it's not we software. Would, You'd have to send it out to get it done. Yes. No, we do not do that. But we don't have the money in the budget to do that either. We're going through our budget too quickly as it is. It would be nice to be able to do it. I was going to say, would you like to do it? It would be nice. <laughs> would it be useful to you? I, w I would ask the mechanic, but I, it sounds like it would be useful. <laughs> It might be cheap, uh, you know, a cheap way to go about finding problems before they occur. Just put it in the back of your head. Very good, thank you. And Joe will probably beat you up on some more. Wow. Joe, of course, you are. I mean, I think we made that point the other day that I, I thought it was more to prove that trucks' engines were failing. Yeah. You know, like we were told with some of the ambulances that the ambulance wasn't going to make it up the road and another mile, but it's still around and running. But uh, I just, Sanford Tree, now they do a, still a tree warden? No, Man, John Manchester Manchester's tree warden. I'm sorry, Manchester, yeah, not Sanford. Yeah. Okay, it's still missing. So, it, and he requested this increase, or was this just? I, I talked with John about it, but it's something that we simply analyze what we have to do and what we have been doing. I just, I'll say, I mean, years back, people got real mad when we cut trees, so just, be aware that you go out and start cutting trees, your phone's going to ring off the hook. Mm -hmm. Particularly when we use that uh, the bush hog device to cut the, the, the sides of the roads because it leaves it all kind of shredded. <laughs> so just be aware the phone's going to ring the first time you go out. I think that's a good point, and I know it from experience. Um, I think it is important to be able to explain to people that we don't like to cut down trees. We like to keep trees as much as possible. There are all kinds of good reasons for that. But there are public safety situations where you basically don't have a choice. And we're looking not at, like, you know, doing something in the forest. We're doing something around along public roads and, and what have you. So it's a public safety issue. But we need to be able to make that case. The only other thing I had to request is I'd like to see the actual village for the OBD, for the computer. The, the village? The OBD testing that you the onboard computer testing devices that you did so I'd like to see some actual invoices on that. We've already paid for these. Or is this something that you want in an existing budget? Or is this something new that we want to add? No, this the scanner is something that we purchased this fiscal year. Yeah. But it, all the software nowadays, you there are some that you can buy outright. But this kind of software and most software you now get on a yearly basis. I understand. This, we used to buy the manual. Now you're buying, but this is something where you can plug in and then go back to the phone and go back to their computer, or is this just some software that we put into our computer? I'm not understanding. Right. It's, it's software in the scanner itself, yeah. and it's software on the computer, and it comes with a, a laptop not a laptop, but a basically a large uh, So it's the same iPad. as the OBD I have for my car, but I only paid my car, the ones I got for my car and truck, I mean, it was $180. Right. And then I, I have options where I can go like to all data. And for $45 a month, 
I can tie in all data, but it doesn't come anywhere near 5,000. Right. That's right. And, and all that is something that we looked at. However, Mitchell is the only one that would actually do trucks the yeah, size yeah, of the fire engines yeah. and dozers and front end loaders and backhoes. So all I that like wouldn't do that. I just see some backup to show these prices. That's all. If we can get some backup in our package yeah. to show what you know the estimates of these costs. I agree. It's a great system. And what we're going to save is we're not going to have to send the trucks out to the dealer because that's where we had problems with the ambulances before. Where we couldn't, we didn't have the the, the, the tools and the, uh, the uh, the technical data to make the repairs. Right, it'll so, greatly reduce that, Joe. But there are still going to be some instances where I you know. still have to send it out. I know, but some of the stuff was so, you know, the gas cap. You know what I mean? Or it needed no. coil packs or something. And no. every time you send it up there, the labor rate's two hundred and some yeah. dollars an hour. So no. it's crazy. That that's why A, I was yeah. surprised uh, DPW didn't have this kind of uh, instrument, and B, yeah. why I was very grateful to be able to get it this year. See, I just like to see the actual bills or the actual, you know, uh, yes. quotes. Yep. Okay. Very good. You can ask one. Quick one. Uh, well, we haven't gone around yet, so thank you, oh, Joe. I thought we did. Jennifer, did, did you want? Are you all set? Okay, Ruth, you have another one. I'll let you I go. Thought, did we go more. around already? Yes, we went all the way around. Okay. So. I didn't ask a question, but now that he mentioned that, I just want to make sure on the Mitchell uh, company that you're using, are you using that just because it covers all the types of vehicles? Could you do two different companies for two different types? Is that possible and save money? And no, no the, and it's not. It's not exactly like half all data versus Mitchell, but Mitchell is the only one that would do the all the different equipment. And it doesn't do every item on every piece of equipment. That so far doesn't exist because of proprietary uh, information that the manufacturers have. They don't want to release all of that. I guess as they get older, then you can get it. That's too late. <laughs> well, no, it takes a long time. So. Um, okay. So, um, we okay on this to topic? For now, or yes. you want some more time on this budget? No, I think we're all set. Okay, so what I'd like to do is 10 o'clock. So um, we can we can bow wave everything else and approve the minutes and continue on. Or we could hit some of these one liners and, and get them off the plate. Um, I'll just take the mood of the room, mood of the, uh, the committee, rather, sorry, on that. Um, you can well, next one should go pretty like. <coughs> okay, well, let's, let's keep moving then. That sounds good. So, next item on the agenda is uh, number eleven: discussion of street of street lighting budget. I'm all about get, getting these out of the way. So, street lighting budget. So we, we have it um, on the bottom of page nine. Now that I have the accurate, thank you, Tom Clark. Um, street lighting expense, and we have in here one hundred twenty thousand dollars as a request. And last year we approved forty-four thousand. Um, we we talk we speak a lot about this uh, uh, conversion to LEDs and the, the 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 wag and the and the back end of the tail and the you know I I don't I I don't know I've lost control of it at this hour of what's going on here. So it's a big jump. That's all I know. Yeah, what? <laughs> what's going on here? Um. And, and I rely on what uh, Denise, the treasurer, uh, told us. But um, the 44000 turned out to be way underestimated. And some that's more or less shown from when you look at the actual expenditures in the previous uh, fiscal year, where, again, the budgeted amount was 44000 but the actual amount was 104000 mm -hmm. So she's gone through all the numbers again say what happened here um, and just feels that we need to catch up uh, we still hope and we, we we are beginning to see the reductions in the cost of the electricity uh, now that the lights are uh, online but we're still um, you know having some hefty bills that need to be be paid so she felt it was necessary to catch up in this uh, fiscal year and that's okay. just based on an analysis of the, the bills that we have been getting. Is there, um, 
lights be turned dimmed? I just asked that question uh, two days ago because we are getting complaints, or I noticed that there were complaints about um, the brightness of the lights, and I, we have the same problem in Warren as well. Uh, and I inquired, because not, it, it all depends, but it, it turns out that most of the lights we have here can, in fact, be dimmed. And now, so now we're, and usually what you need, I have learned, is that you need all the lights installed before you can start dimming selectively. So we should, as far as I know, now be able to do that, and we work with this organization, PRISM, <coughs> that uh, actually uh, organized and also does the maintenance, and they know that we're gonna ask or wanna come up with a procedure whereby people can request that lights in their area get, get dimmed. The, the flip side is true, too, that you know, when you have high hazard areas, for example, you can increase the intensity, or if you have an emergency in that location, you can so it's, it's good to have that feature, yeah. Um, does anyone else have any questions? We can go oh, around, sure. if no one has, you know, we can just kind of go around. Just one question, well, wasn't, what, what, uh, what, Let's go, does anyone? Uh, yeah, just a, uh, is this negotiable, or is it, I mean, it's an electric bill, right? It's an electric bill. So, I mean, here that's a huge jump and alarming and all, but we're gonna get the bill and the bill, so. Our, our best guess right now is, is 120, knowing fiscal year 18, we paid 104. Mm -hmm. up? I just, you know, I, I was, I remember we talked, we spoke about this years ago, this mm -hmm. prism. I wonder if the 44,000 was, was the pot of gold we were recommended, we promised. I do wonder that, that's my only comment. I, I my memory isn't good enough to remember, and I, I don't want to get into it now, but. Ruth, uh, do you have any questions on this? Um. No, is is this something? I'm just uh, on your capital plan, Jan. On the capital plan, we have, um, and this is in the recurring capital okay. items, I believe, okay. where and we I'm have the financing of the acquisition of the equipment, and so that is a capital item that is being paid off over how many, over the years. How many years is this going to go Spurs. on? Uh, that is a, that is a long period of time, and we're looking at you know whether or not um, it would make sense to try and pay that off and save the interest payments that we have. Um, I asked Denise about that again the other day, and I am with her in thinking that as long as you have a low rate, it actually sometimes is smarter to do it on a financing plan. And she feels I think this is around two percent, a little over well. two percent or something. Commercial, that's pretty low. Mm -hmm. So. But, but the number of years you said was long. I just, is there some, can you give me a ballpark on, on how the number of years this is going to go on where we don't? I, th we I think it was, it, I, th I was amazed at how long the term was. I think it was 10 or 12 years okay, total. Thank you. 2% over that term is, is pretty low. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Tom? Yes. Jay? So the, the, the financing is not included in this 120000 Correct. This hundred and twenty thousand is for raw electricity. Right. That's my understanding. Well, without knowing what we paid, let's say four what years. may be in there, by the way, is the maintenance fee that we pay Prism, which in and of itself is a lot lower than what um, National Grid was charging us. But and and it may be that that had not been counted in the budget mm -hmm. allocation. I'm not quite sure. So our best estimate now is it's going to be neighborhood 120,000. Mm -hmm. We don't know what it was four years ago when we initiated this whole thing. Well, we, we can LED, generate LED that. LED lights. We can are, generate that information. LED lights generally only okay. use 10 percent of what we were, were using. So I'm still a lot of middlemen in here, Jay. I bet huh? a lot of people have their hands in that. There pot. must be. I just sure. can't imagine how we are really still paying 120 grand. Even if it was well, 300,000, we we're not saving anyone here. I'll look it up now. Well, what, what I'm going to do is I because I, I think this may come up before the council as well. We, we should have a better recap of you know what we used to pay yeah. than what the expectations were when we entered into this program and what we're now seeing i think that that would be good to get it together in that summary so i'm just i'm just boggled that we're it's still this high when we've done everything we can to 
what they said we would get. <laughs> yeah. I think you already said what I want to say. I want, I'd like more information on this yeah. to see what okay. I, I, I can't remember what. I'm thinking like 300000 was what we were paying years ago. It was really up there. Yeah. Well, I'm bringing it up now, and I'll report out in a minute. I don't want to hold the meeting up just to bring it up. But Okay, next item. Um, next item would be hydrant services, $750. Um, it's my understanding it's a token amount according to Denise's email. Does anyone have any questions on this item? Great. That's item number 12. Chat. Um, the next item, public works, street lights, hydrant. Next item is rubbish recycling. And I believe we circulated a copy of the contract. I think I circulated it out right early, early, early on maybe. It's in your binder. Yeah, okay, great. Thanks, Jan. So um, that's by contract. And um, the number that I believe is, in, I think we were, I said this once, the number in the contract, mm, no, I didn't say about this, but the number in the contract is the number in the, the budget, right? Is that accurate, Jan? Correct. There's no latitude. There's a number in the contract, a number in the budget. Um, so, and this is, is this the, no, this is the second or third year, the third or third year now coming up, third or third year already, huh? Of this contract, I think it is, I think right? so, and then we redo This it. is the second of. I, I know we had the last the discussion the last time, and I think we have another year with Mega. Maybe it's the yeah. second year? Um, it's, it expires, I believe, in 20, but I'm going to read it. Okay. Okay. Yes. It was signed in 2017. <coughs> so we'll be, we'll be going out to bid again. Okay. Right, so, um, so the contract amount equals the document. Does anyone have any questions on that? Okay, well, we just cranked through those. Um, that brings us up to landfill operations. So let's just look at how involved that is before we get too ambitious here. Okay, maybe this is where we should break off. We should jump. Okay, so why don't we... Um, the only, the only issue with that is then we have to drag, um, I don't mean to be derogatory like that, but we have to drag Rick back if we skip it. Um, where's my... Um, Which one is his? Landfill? Yeah. Just try, let me just see one thing here. <coughs> if I may, the only thing that, if I'm not mistaken, jumps out on the landfill operations is that gigantic increase percentage-wise in overtime. Mm -hmm. And that's the remark I made at the beginning that Rick has shifted some of the overtime from the road crew category, the regular staff, to landfill because he wanted to show where the overtime is actually being incurred. So it was never shown under landfill operations even though That's part of the overtime was being incurred there. But I think everything else is um, sort of limited to pretty much the, well, the longevity went up here for the same reasons, I believe. Yes. Um, the bulldozer is the biggest rise. Yes. Um, and that's just because the bulldozer needs to be Yes. And that's what it costs. Well, cur cur currently this year we spent just so far a little under 15, and it's a required piece of equipment to, to run the landfill. Okay. And the, uh, it looks to me by looking at this again uh, that the Contract is an option if everybody agrees to renew it for another year, but it expires in 2020. But the uh, put the trash. <coughs> well, yeah, I was backing up to the yeah. contract. Yeah. Expires when in 2020 though. Sorry, I don't mean to be. Yep. No, it appears to me that it's December 2020, but it might be June because it goes through fiscal year as an option to June 30th. I think it's intended to mirror <coughs> the contract, I mean, the fiscal year of right. dividend. Right. And there so are some adjustments based on the expected closure of the land. Right. Okay. Thank so you. you said that the overtime went to the landfill because no. that's where it's generated? No, there was a, a, a modest increase in the landfill overtime because. I felt it was better to reflect the actual old time was spent there because when the gentlemen are on vacation that are assigned to the landfill on Saturdays, 
the uh, crew, which is not assigned to Saturday work, somebody has to fill in. And that's mostly because you're picking up, you're running the landfill and you're mm -hmm. also doing the yard waste, right? Well, no, it's, it's simply because the landfill crew is assigned to work on Saturdays, but they get vacation. So when they're on vacation, somebody on the regular crew has to... Monday with the Friday guy. Yeah, I got it. So... And if I may, on the next item, on-site wastewater treatment, that really doesn't belong um, in the DPW it's on budget the to begin with. Agenda. I didn't put it here because no. I didn't put it on the agenda. It so. should be separate. Separate, yeah. So I think we can count that as, as having done it. Does anyone have any questions on the life operations? And then we can call it done. I just had a question on the bulldozer repairs. What exactly were you, was that just in case something would break or is there a plan? No, that for more of the undercarriage, we replaced some of the, the drive and the pins this year. And it's to, uh, for instance, the tracks. Wow, again? Yeah. Well, the tracks, I don't know when they were done last, but they're wearing out. Two years ago. Well, wasn't so done right. The, I think it's on track. Uh, the, tra the, oh, no, the, the front, front line, 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 not the okay, yeah. spare dozer, the front line dozer. Oh, okay. Yes. Except it should be yeah. exactly that. The, it, well, the track is sort of all-encompassing. For instance, the treads is yeah. something that we have budgeted well, for this fiscal year coming up, 20. I seem to remember something about tracks from a couple of years ago. Yeah, we replaced them. Well, there's a lot of pieces to the track. Oh. We did some more this yeah. year. No, we did the whole, we did the rollers, the tracks. I don't think we did the sprocket, but I know they did the rollers, the tracks, the pins, all, even the grouse bars. So, I don't know. Stuff ain't cheap. Hey, you guys all set? Let's go, yeah. go around quick. This you all set, Tom? Yep. Yeah. Is that a typo? I'm um, a two seven eight five percent. Should it be two eight eight five percent? No, it's not. No, I'm just saying if it's if it started out at a hundred. I think it's a typo, possibly that it should be two eight eight five percent. I think that's right. Well, just please, please let me know or let us I know. Think that's right. I think that's right. What two seven? Two thousand. Yeah. Right. Started at hundred. You're the math genius. It's two thousand percent. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, are you done? Is that it? Well, it, it should be two eight eight five as well. I'm just asking to check that for us if you can make sure. Oh, okay. It's thousands though. It's thousands of percent. Yeah. I see what you're saying. Well, no, it's probably divided by the original. Maybe it's divided That's by the 63. Well, for, for instance, if it went to 200, it would be a 200% increase. So if you went from $100 to $200, right. it would be 200% increase. You go 1,000, add zero. So, okay, as long as you did that, that's fine. Then. I'm, yeah. I'm all set. Okay. Better than, than that, the computer Thank you. does it. Thank you. So <laughs> my question is, I have a question, and I don't, I don't mean to be out of the box here, because you might put me in the box with this question. But so... The landfill is going to close in uh, eight months or whatever the number is. So what are we going to do with all this, all these expenses? A lot of them are going to go away. Or, you know, if we don't have a transfer station, I mean, this, this, some of these expenses are going to go away. I know some of them, you're going to say, some of them are going to stick around, Jeff. Some are going to get bigger because we're going to have to, you know, whatever. But certainly some of these would go away, I would think, right? Because we're going to close the landfill. So what I want to suggest is that that is a question for uh, the Landfill and Recycling Committee, which we just had that discussion actually tonight. Oh, wow. um, and it needs to be brought back to the council as well because um, we never made a you know, complete or a yeah. definitive decision about are we going to keep bringing the trash straight to the landfill or, and, or bring it to a transfer station here or are we only going to bring other materials to a smaller landfill right. station? So, and depending on what that scenario is going to be, you know, the different implications for staffing and everything else and yeah. equipment. So, right. so we, there yet, we have yeah. Yeah. another just board just or commission to, yeah. we have another committee to actually someone's look at this. Yeah, someone's got to run that. And I, again, I just threw it out there because, you know, the, 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 other, <laughs> the other part of that equation is this goes away, yeah, or not, or whatever. Maybe. Yeah? We hope. I'm all set. Okay, great. So we did that. So I would like to entertain a motion to um, 
thank you for putting up with that, um, to move items 15, 16, and 17, discussion of Town Hill operating expense budget, discussion of time ministries, but discussion of civic appropriations budget to our next meeting. I'll in that motion. So moved. Second. Second. Okay. So I heard uh, um, Jennifer move it and Brandon second it. Sorry, Joe. Um, do you get that, Tom? Yep. Okay. Any discussion on that? Yes. Well, can we add the street lighting on the next agenda also because we don't have all the details yet and we wanted them? Or is that possible? You want to bring it back? Yeah. Well, I think is though, is that going to require, I'm just trying to give Rick a break. Um, and I don't, the, he doesn't have you know, to we be were back for that. Ask Denise okay. Surratt. And unfortunately, I have to be here anyway. All right. So are you, can you, can you represent on that? I will try. I'm try. Gonna, we'll put it on if you can talk about it. Great. Yeah, the, the other yeah. thing is that he doesn't have to be back for it is the building maintenance and division and parks. But parks may come with, well, it, it can be done. As okay. A so that doesn't, we don't have to move that. We went through that agenda item. So we don't have to move it in this motion room. I can just get reminded to add it on the agenda, okay? Okay. So I have a motion and a second. Discussion. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Joe, you okay with that? Yeah. Okay, unanimous. Great. Okay, so those are all on the next agenda. 15, 16, 17. Thank you. Now, approval of minutes um, from uh, January 24th. They were emailed out, and they are in front of us somewhere. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank, Thank you, you very, very much, much, Rick. And Jan. I think you're finally out of here, Rick, for, for a few weeks anyway, mm -hmm. probably. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for that. You have an enormous, extraordinarily large job. Thank you for your service. Thank you. Um, My name was spelled wrong. Is it Z? It's Z. S. It's on the agenda. You told me Z. I, I changed it with S and, and, and I changed it to Z. A, I can't keep it straight. I, I had him as S. I changed and it to Z. During the minute, in the minutes, sometimes it was right, and then other times it was wrong. Oh, uh, I I went and changed it to Z. I'm sorry, Joe. I said, I'll show him. I'm going to make it Z. Yeah, Jeff, I'm Jennifer J. But you know what? That's interesting because I think I pulled these off the town website. Hmm. Okay, you're Jennifer who? J. Jennifer J. Okay, so where are the, the, the minutos here? Is that in the minutes or is that just the agenda you're looking at? Joe, um, okay. your name's correct in the minutes. Gotta find them. Uh, my copy in the minutes. Yeah. Under discussion. Hang on, the we gotta minutes. find them here. Further down, one of the discussions that we had. Yeah. I don't have the copy of the minutes with me. Yeah, I'm trying to find it here myself. I them out. I don't know. Is this it here? They might have, hand, they might have been. Oh, Where did I make it? Minutes out. They, they were so here. Somehow they. Uh, might I don't know if they, they got printed. Are you saying they got printed? The yeah, they were printed. They were, they were here a little while ago. I just buried them. Oh, oh, okay. Chaos. 24th. Do you have any minutes from 24th? I don't think I do either. No, it's further down. Are they over here? No, they were out. You gave them all out. It's just that they've gotten buried. We, I don't know if you're under Bay Street. Out. Joe was a Z. Okay, it was on Bay Street. That's right. Are these them? They were handed Should out. Be January, right. When I sat down here, mine was for me. No. no, no, the 24th is the one. January 24th. Nice dense. Town Council. No, sorry. Sheets, right? Does anyone have the minutes for tonight? I printed them out. Or, or they were on the table here. No. 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 So I they weren't printed. I read them online. Because Sherry, I don't think they were printed. Sherry maybe. said, I'm sorry, maybe I'm totally wrong. I thought Sherry. There was some stuff on the table. Sherry just said that Sherry had indicated to me that she, she had them printed and everything were ready to go. They're not in the box. Because she had indicated, I called her like two hours ago. The agendas were there, but not the minutes. Okay. Maybe that was it. I think she had the agenda for tonight and for uh, Saturday. So let's not improve them without. Well, I have them on the computer. I can put them on the screen. I mean, I mean, I know I've read them. They were sent an email. That's what you're saying. 
X-Wing. Um, just right, fall behind. That's all. Just do it next week. It's all right. I'll take a few minutes for those. Do them next week. Yeah, it's fine. And uh, one, you know, one thing we we last year we went through that she's doing a great job. This is a lot of work and all. I don't know if we need this level of detail. I'm I'm open. Uh, people want it. We have uh, we're videotaped and and recorded that everyone can see. So kind of getting at the substance, but making it more simple in terms of uh, motions, sure. uh, um, how votes um, go, and not necessarily get into where people stand on certain um, issues. Because um, we got through a lot of back and forth because yeah. someone didn't feel as though they were captured last year. Mm -hmm. So um, it would just, I think, save a lot of work on Sherry and, and others. But I don't want to cut that off if people really like it. She's done a good job. I think for some yeah. of them it's this clarification. I think it's kind of incumbent on us to take our good notes to um, know. So I'd, I'd um, recommend that just have her be a lot more um, yeah, uh, streamlined I'm in terms of that. that. I'm fine with that. My, Does that make sense to everyone? The, the copies aren't here. That's all. Yeah. Right. Uh, I'm, I'm fine it's with really it, too. Happened. I think she just went a little bit more detail on, on one of the major discussions that we had, which yeah. was a little more important. I think it was the, was it the public comment. Yep. So mm -hmm. I think that that was why she went in detail, because it was a big, long discussion. The bullets would be better. It would be easier yeah, for everybody to read. Mm -hmm. We all take our notes. We do have the video. It's it's a lot of work, well, you know. Is, it's yeah, a I lot mean, of work, great, and but it's, I agree. Yeah, it's and when you much. when you miss Digital one thing, it's stuff. just it's hard. It's it's yeah. hard to. They're, they're really good. It's hard to get okay. all the detail in. Well, Jeff, can I make a suggestion so, to you? So yeah, I, I just thought we had a copy. That's all. So yes. This this is the second time this has sort of happened. I think we're getting a little ambitious in each meeting. We schedule a little bit. Too much okay especially when you get you know we're, we're coming up on some things that are, are going to be really involved yeah. so if we you know if we try to do five of them in one night we're going to find out we're rescheduling them okay or we're liable to mm -hmm. and like our very first long discussion none of us had any idea it was going to take an hour and 15 minutes mm -hmm. but it did mm -hmm. Yeah, I know. I just, I'd rather, I guess. You know, it's better. I rather, I just don't want to run out of things too. You know. No, yeah. but it, it's better maybe to underachieve a little bit than, than try to stretch ourselves too far. Yeah. Okay. Underachieve for one week. Well. Okay. Test it out. Yeah. I mean, you know, if push comes to shove, and we we've, we've done it, you can always schedule another special meeting. Mm -hmm. We could be like town council and have somebody seventy percent be special. <laughs> okay, so we'll approve the minutes next week. Thank you, Jay, for that. Um, we'll approve the minutes next week. So, administrative items the site visit this coming week is uh, where we have the agenda fire stations one, two, and three. I think that is something that we all had. Um, yes. And then um, I have a <clears throat> Next week's agenda I'll put together. Um, as of right now, as of right now, I don't have any formal visitors coming in. Um, that doesn't mean I won't, but I, as of right now, I don't. Um, the, the, the site visit after that is, is the school, the high school, and the middle school on February the 9th. And I believe that we have the three elementary schools set up for the 16th, but I'm still waiting for the final, final, final confirmation on that. I believe it's okay. That's the email I got. So anyway, that's kind of where we're at um, for that. On February the 14th, which will be Valentine's Day, um, police and fire coming in. Sorry. Oh. For those of you who... You, you switched that. from site business to testimony. So yeah, on February 14th, yeah. It's just uh, how it works, how the cards fall. <laughs> so, where, which fire station are we meeting at on um, Saturday? I don't, it's on the agenda, and I don't mean to be station two. flipping about it. Station it's, two, uh, main road, main road, North Tiverton. Station two, main road. Okay. North Tiverton. So, it starts at North Tiverton, for anybody in TV land. It starts in North Tiverton, 85 main road, 
Fire Station 2 at 9 a.m. on Saturday, February 2nd. And um, the tour will start there. I don't know how long we'll be there. But then it's going to proceed to Station 3, which is at 45 Crandall Road. And then from there, it's going to proceed down south a bit more to Station 1, Fire Station 1 at 287 East Road. And um, there's two phone numbers on the agenda, which is online as well. And, um, and those phone numbers, if anyone needs to catch up with the tour, they can call those numbers. And it should ring members who have agreed to be there. And, um, and that's just another way to try to catch up with the tour. Okay? Thank you. So, so should we take attendance of who will be at the fire uh, station? Oh, yeah, we should. Thank you for that. So, so who will be able to make this... Uh, make the, the fire tours this weekend, the fire station tours. We should be able yeah. to. I'm questionable at this point. Okay, great. One, two. Yeah, so we'll, we'll definitely have a good chunk. I'm questionable at this point. Um, so that, that's good. Okay. Jen is not back yet, so she won't be there. Um, I don't know about Justin. Yeah, I don't Sherry. know. Maybe he'll still be wired up. Who knows? I don't know. <laughs> we, have, we have a good posse to show up for that. You can bring a battery pack. <laughs> uh, it, no, it's just a medical test, and it's just, he just the way he worded it. So the other item, so we get out of here, is um, the, the only other thing I have on there is scheduled site visits. Um, I wanted, to, on the closing remarks, I, I realized, too, on the agenda, I've got to add that, that item. This is more a note to myself. But I should be putting on here, too, based on our solicitor's guidance. I should have on all these discussions. <clears throat> it should say discussion and preliminary vote. That's what it should say, right? Based on what he said. If that's what if we're that's what intending we're to do. Well, but we don't know, right? So, I mean, the whole idea of our vote last week was that any votes we take are preliminary. Mm -hmm. So... In theory, like any, we could vote on a number and it's preliminary, and we established that whatever it was two weeks ago. So, like we could vote on these things that are preliminary, but according to the solicitor, like we we, we wouldn't like it doesn't say anything about voting here. So just so we don't get into any kind of trouble, I think every one of these things should say discussion. And preliminary vote, and if we don't vote, we don't vote because you can't over notice, you know. Because yeah, he said we didn't need to say possible, right? And then we do have the word possible, right? Just to cover our, and that way, if we take a vote on a thing, then we're yeah. covered, yeah, right? Just because we say we sense. might doesn't mean we have we'll to. to, yeah. We never get everything done, we'll so. know, like, those are the expenses. right? There's not any. We could, to argue right? And then, and then, yeah. And in either way, it's not fine. And if we do, and we still, because of the vote we took last week, any we can, anyone can bring it back up to revisit after March sixth or whatever it was. Like it's still, you know, by definition yeah. preliminary. Okay, so the two things I need to change on the agenda. That was what I wanted to say um, in the closing comments. So I can entertain a motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. Second. All those in favor.